How the frick do you get better at After Effects? So many buttons, sliders and effects, it's probably burning your brain. Well, let me show you 5 effects to level up your After Effects game and create this amazing liquid animation. And by the way, you can find the project file in the description down below. First of all, I have a nice gradient background and some text on it. And this text I would love to animate like it's filling up with water. So I create a new solid layer, which I can use as a mat later on. I go to layer in the top menu or right click in my timeline. Then I go to new and choose solid. This will open up a new pop-up window. Of course, I'm giving my solid a correct name and for the color, I just choose black. Before I'm adding any effects, I will first animate the solid going from the bottom to the top. Nothing too fancy. Then let's add our first effect. It's going to be the wave warp effect. Immediately after adding this, we can see what it does. It adds these cute little waves. However, it's not the look we're looking for. So let's increase the wave height and width. Then I'm also animating the face from 0 to 300. This will give the waves movement and more life. Already looking quite nice and more liquid-like. But it can look much better and that's why I'm adding the second effect called Turbulent Displace. What does it do? Well, it distorts my layer, creating a displacement. Again, it's just a simple fact of fine-tuning the settings, like increasing the amount, size, and again, giving it more motion by animating the evolution. This simple effect will make our waves so much better. Okay, I have my solid layer, which has waves and it's animated to go up. Now I can use the third effect, which isn't really an effect, but more of a technique. I'm going to track mat my text with the solid layer, and the only thing I have to do is use the track mat pick whip tool from the text layer and drag it to the solid layer. If you can't find the track mat option, just right click in the top part of the timeline, go to columns and enable the modes option. If done correctly, my text is not visible until it fills up with liquid. Already cool but not cool enough. Maybe I can add some flying water droplets. And actually this effect is not mine, I came across a super talented motion designer called Ivan Stankov, who showed me how to do this. I'll leave his Instagram down below. Now for the effects I need two layers. First I need a simple ball shape layer that I animated to fly in in a half circle. Then I created a solid layer and on this I'm adding our fourth effect, CC Particle Systems 2. This is a very intricate effect which allows you to create all sorts of particle simulations. And for the settings of my particle system I'm going to show you the most important ones but the other ones don't really matter but you can play around with them to see what they do. To start I lower the birth rate and also animate it to go in and out. This will let me determine the amount of particles. Then for the physics, I change the animation to vortex, set the velocity to zero, which will remove the speed of the particles. Then I set inherent velocity to 20, meaning that the particles will only gain speed from animated motion. And next, I set the gravity to zero. Going to the particle tab, I adjust the particle type to motion polygon, giving my particles the shape of triangles. Then I play around with the bird size, making them bigger or smaller. And that's it! My particle system is now doing absolutely nothing. That's because there is no animated motion. To fix that I'm going to parent my producer to the animated ball. I'm looking for the position property of the producer and alt clicking on the stopwatch of this property. Then I'm using the pick whip tool to link the producer to the ball layer. And voila my ball has a particle trial of triangles. Cool but not liquid like. So it's time for our last effect which is a super simple one. It's the simple shoker. This effect lets you shrink or expand the edges of a shape. And for our sake we will be expanding. This means we need to lower the shock mat to around minus 100. And now the triangles are almost gone because I lied. We need one more effect called the fill effect which allows me to choose an overlaying color and bada bim bada boom we have a cool liquid animation. And if you want to make it even cooler you just have to watch the video here on my left where I show you guys three tools every motion designer needs to know. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.